Hello. Welcome to a lovely Sunday afternoon here in my garden. It's a little bit windy and we have been battling to film this with the neighbours making some strange noises, but hopefully we're okay. Uh, today we're going to plant up the first square of my square foot gardening bed which runs alongside my greenhouse. And I'm going to start in the shady section and I'm going to start with a herb that tolerates shade really well and that is chives. So there's two important tools you're going to need for planting upper chive because I've grown them from seed in my greenhouse which is just here and then I've had them in the beds actually over the winter when as the ground was settling and now that I've made up the level with my planting mix they're ready to go in. So I only need really well two tools. One, one important tool which is a is a trowel and one optional tool, a cup of coffee. So let's get these in. So here I am in my square in the shade and I'm going to plant these chives into here. I've watered the ground and I've watered the plants about two hours ago and it's nice and wet. So I don't need to water these again and I don't need to water them in. I've got six plants here. Now, normally with these, I would be planting nine plants in here, uh, but because these are quite well established, I'm gonna just pop six in. I have got more plants in the greenhouse, but there's no point putting in nine if they're really gonna uh, struggle between each other. These, these will work just fine. But what I'm gonna show you is the spacing if I was putting nine in and just how I've adapted it. And this would work quite well if you were sowing nine seeds in. So what you do, you take your hand like that, or if you've got really big hands, I suppose you could go like that. <laughs> and you just stripe across there and across there. And what you've given yourself is nine squares. Okay. And then what you would be doing is that you would be, if you were sewing, you would be sewing into each one of those nine squares there in the center. I've got six plants here, nine is too many, so I'm just going to plant them in that one there, leave the central strip and then plant these here, okay? So we'll start with our first one, let's start with the furthest away bit. So I'm just going to dig there, pull my compost to a side and pop the first one in. Because these are really well rooted, all I have to do is hold the plant between my fingers like that, give it a tap, and you see lovely soft roots there. They don't need messing around with you. You don't need to be tearing these apart when they're loose like this. So you can just leave them as they are, pop that in, and then pull the trowel out at the same time. And what you want is your hand that is pinching it at the soil level to be the same level as the soil surrounded. And then you're just firming it in there. Now I've made a bit of a mess of my nice little marked out areas there. So I'm gonna go back over there and there so that I know that I'm going into these squares. Do the next one. Do it like that so you can see. Again, lovely, pop that in, okay, next one, pop that in, and this is about four squares either side that is in the shade most of the day, only really gets about three hours of direct sunlight. So this isn't the best patch for uh, growing vegetables, but it's, it's the only space I've got for it. So I might as well grow my plants that like, or will at least tolerate the shade in these spaces. And you can see all I'm doing is I'm going in with my trowel 
where it's easiest. I'm not fighting trying to do it the same position each time. I'm just going in with my trowel like that. And you can see how easy this special soil mix is to plant into. And if you haven't seen my videos about the special soil mix, I will hopefully work out the technicalities of showing a little box on the screen to show you how to make the mix. And now I've just got to fight the wind to go and pick up all my loose pots. <laughs> but that's, that's it all planted up there. So you can see the, the compost level looked a little tiny bit low before, but I'd allowed for, for an inch because I knew that once this was all fluffed up, it's gonna come a bit higher. I'll show you what I'm gonna do when I pick the chives. So there's two ways you can pick your chives. And so I need to get a third tool. And got that out of the shed. A pair of scissors. And all you do is the bit you want, you go down to the base and you trim that off. And that's your chives ready to go. Mm, right, mm, very chivey. Not sure how that's going to mix with my coffee. Um, uh, but again, you don't even need scissors really. You could just go down, pinch it off. And uh, luckily I've got a little bit of fingernails today. So there we go. Chives in the shade, planted in a special mix of my square foot garden. <sighs> little tip, don't put your coffee cup too close to where you're mucking around in the compost if you end up with compost in your coffee.